What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johns84, and today I'll give you guys some news from Call of Duty. So, if you guys are not aware yet, and I'm ready to announce this, Call of Duty over the next two years uh, will be releasing the next Black Ops games, and Treyarch will be taking over, you know, for the next two years. You know, of course, because Black Ops is owned by Treyarch and all that stuff. You know, it's an amazing franchise. You know, ever since I started here in YouTube, um, I believe I should have started on Black Ops One. But since I didn't have a computer or anything to record with, I really didn't have any of my gameplays uploaded here on YouTube at all. Um, I still had some along the way, but I mean, they were just from theater mode, and those were my best gameplays that I ever done. Uh, my best one was a 98 kill and 12 death gameplay. Probably my best one of all time, because during that same time that I did that uh, the previous three gameplays I actually ended up over 80 kills plus so uh, which pretty much landed me in the top 15 in the whole world for both domination and team deathmatch and uh, my score per minute was around 725 or something like that uh, but it was pretty high you know I was like one of the top guys in the, in the entire leaderboard it was insane times to be honest during the black ops one age but um, you know so what we got here is actually that uh, you know Call of Duty Black Ops 2 will be continued Especially since it was taken in the year 2025, now it will have actually have a sequel, and the game will be taking place in 2030. So, uh, which is not bad, you know. To be honest, it's not bad. Um, it's gonna have a lot of the futuristic stuff that used to have Black Ops 2, uh, which is not too much, to be honest. Not, not too futuristic, but I'm hoping they experiment with some of the new weapons. I don't know. Maybe we can have some laser weapons, like the EMR from Advanced Warfare and all that stuff. Um, I'm ready for it. I think I'm excited for this entire situation because damn, you know, Black Ops has been absent for a while now. Um, you know, even though Treyarch would, uh, did actually take part of Modern Warfare 3, um, but they only took part of the zombie mode, I believe. And of course, the multiplayer was taken over by Sledgehammer Games, but Infinite Warfare has the last saying on what's added to the game. So uh, it's a really a big collaboration between all three companies. But um, I believe Treyarch taking over to multiplayer, taking over multiplayer um, will be actually the best idea because they always come up with some crazy ass concepts. And not only that, most of the old school maps from Black Ops were actually the best. I mean, I cannot wait to play on Jungle, to be honest. Jungle is my signature map. That's the one that I actually did good, like, most of the freaking time. Even during Call of Duty Black Ops War when it came back, I was amazing in that freaking map. I know how to play that map. I remember it so well. And that's where I got my best record, which is 98 kills and 12 deaths. It's my best record of all time. Of course, I have some other good records with Vanguard, but because uh, I actually did with it over, like, 140 kills and so... But uh, my best of times is Black Ops 1. It was my prime time. And I'm glad most of those maps are coming back again. So I can't wait for Call of Duty 2025. And I'm not sure how it's going to be named. But more than likely it's going to be called Black Ops 2030 or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows how it's going to come down. But that means that every five years, Black Ops will come back, right? Because if it's taking place in 2030, that means Black Ops will come back in 2030 to make another sequel for Call of Duty Black Ops 2, right? I think that's how it's gonna work from now on. So, which is a good idea. I mean, it's good to have a sequel like that because we haven't had one in a while. Which, uh, well, we had one with Modern Warfare 3, to be honest. But the story was horrible. Um, it only, it was only like around six hours, from what I heard. I haven't played it yet. I've seen some gameplay about it, but I'm like, this is just an open world map with some DMZ elements added to it, which is questionable, really questionable. Um, but for those of you guys who played it, you know, tell me about it in the comment section. I'll read them later. Um, but as far as I know, Call of Duty Black Ops is coming back. So, that's amazing. That is amazing. You know, I'm guessing now that the Microsoft deal went through, they are actually trying to impress your, their fan base, bruh. I'm happy about that. <laughs> it's been a while, you know. It's like we lived, we lived in the dark times for such a bit, you know. Because ever since Modern Warfare 2019, everything has been questionable ever since, right? Except for Cold War, so according to a lot of people, it was actually the last good Call of Duty, which I did not enjoy, to be honest. I enjoyed more Vanguard, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, that is it, guys. This is the news for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Call of Duty 2025 and 2024 will be a thing, and um, Treyarch will be the leads for those two games. So, two years of Treyarch sports it's, it's going to be... It's going to be a fun time. So that is it, guys. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. No bad, no bad.